First legs of our Champions League and Copa del Rey semi-finals are down. We haven't put ourselves out of either of those tournaments yet. Welcome back to episode 7 of the wonderful Barcelona Rebuild. We are having a pretty good season. We've only got two teams so far this year that have beaten us. Real Madrid have already done the double, um, and they've only played us once in the league so far. And also, we've uh, we've had the double against us by another team, which I'm, I'm pretty embarrassed about, to be quite honest. It's not the best team to do the double against us. I have already told you one of the team, one of the times they beat us, so, bonus points for you, if you remember who it is by the time I tell you. We're currently five points clear at the top of the league. It's doing, it's doing okay. It's a little bit of a drop from where we were a um, few, few games back. But we're not doing bad by any means at all. We have Cadiz and then a game against Athletic Bilbao today. But before we jump into the episode, if you could do me the favour of liking and subscribing, showing your support on the channel, I'd be greatly appreciated. I do have another video coming up, hopefully this weekend in which I'm going to be kind of be doing a, similar to this really, in, in regards to it being a rebuild with Newcastle. Not sure I can call it a rebuild though, to be fair, because I'm looking to build them bigger than they've ever been. We have the 200 million there, and we're going to be doing that probably maybe one a week. We're just doing a season in an episode and just seeing where that goes, and I'll get in them out as soon as I can. If you're looking forward to that, pop the little subscribe button and it will be in your inbox. Tickle the bell as well, and it will tell you the second it drops. Since you were last with me, we had a game against Celta Vigo in the league, in which we won 1-0. We played our first round against Cadiz, and we beat them 2-0. Uh, playing Atletico in the league, and that was a 0-0. Uh, it was Levante. Levante, the other team that have done the double against us. I played a disgustingly weak team. Let me hide myself, and I'll show you. I'm hiding myself as well out of shame. But I just played properly just a full rotated 11, discounting goalkeeper. Um, looking at it, it should still be more than strong enough to be able to get through uh, Levante, but apparently it wasn't. So they beat us 1-0. Uh, we then played Chelsea, who are the current European champions. Uh, they got a late goal with the Timo Werner shot, which I'm pretty sure was offside, but VAR let it go, so so be it. And then we've also played Espanyol, and we beat them 4-1. Realising now, I probably should have come back for that, because they're our rivals, but I didn't. So we're here for Caddy, and then we're into the game against that Let It Bilbao. We are 2-0 up from our first leg, and over on the other side, Real Madrid are 0-0 with Almira. Obviously, we want Almira to be able to knock them out, but with them being the only uh, second-tier team, Liga Smart Bank it's called, apparently, um, it's not looking likely, so it may be another game against Real Madrid, which I'm not looking forward to. We're going with Tostegan in goal, Wagway, Arajo, Piquet and Pellegrini as back four, Sergio, Pedri and De Jong as the midfield three. Best of friends they are now with all their green links. Uh, Demia out on the right, Memphis on the left and then Aguero up top on his own. We are lining up as we've just seen with our 4-3-3 and pretty ropey form. And then Cadiz are coming in, they're one of the worst teams in the division and a form to match running out with a 4-4-2. Tostegan plays it short to Arajo. As we do have the two goal lead coming into this, I would be very surprised if we managed to throw it away, but um, also wouldn't wouldn't surprise me. It, it just wouldn't. I'd be annoyed, but not surprised. Memphis has got the ball out on the left side. He plays it to De Jong, who's being kicked. Aguero pops it back through to Memphis. Gets it back to Aguero. Lovely goal. Is 1-0. Or 3-0. Take your pick. Whichever way, both are accurate. And look at that, he just, he just straight up trips him. There's no intention to play the ball from their player at all. Cuts it back into Aguero. Easy finish. Free kick for us on the left. De Jong puts it towards the near post. Aguero gets there first. Makes it 2-0. We have a little bit... Oh, no, never mind. It doesn't. It, it was ruled out. What's going on? Yeah, I think we had about five players offside there. Never mind. Let's crack on, shall we? Just dropped some praise on us. Iza is having the throw in for them. Puts it to Andone. Back to Iza. Al Alarcon? Possibly. Just. 
and the goalies ran all the way out. Carla. Ledesma just put his foot through it. Sergio's made the interception. Aguero feeds through Demia. Oh, and he hits the outside of the post. Unfortunate for him. Real Madrid are currently 1-0 up. It looks like we may very well have another game against them. Which is not ideal. We kind of realised that was going to be the case anyway, but still. Jose Mari, Perea, back to Mari, Alarcon, and the interception from our player. Memphis, back to Aguero. Oh, and he's hit the post this time. And it rolls across the line as it's smashed out by one of the Cadiz players. Throw in for us on the right-hand side. Wagway puts it to Demir. Pedri, Sergio, De Jong. It is now, eventually, 2-0. Nice little, little play there. Quick, short passes. De Jong running in. Nice goal. Have a little, have a little look. At, I've, I've noticed that Wagway's got a book in, and I'm a little bit concerned that he's going to be our first sending off of the season. I also believe it's his debut, or at least for me anyway. So, if he does, <laughs> if he does manage to get sent off, he's probably not going to play another game for me. Let's make a substitution. I'm not taking him off because I'm not going to play him in the next game. So, who cares? Uh, Biscuits is booked. I'll drop De Jong back. Uh, we'll bring on Roberto. Also, we have Demir not playing fantastically, but he's not tired. So I'll leave him on, actually. We'll take off uh, Aguero. You know what? We'll take off Aguero and Depay. And we'll uh, make sure that front pairing is uh, is nice and fresh for the game against Bilbao. Throw in. Wagway again to Demir. Over to Pedri. Puts it to Roberto on the edge. And his shot's just over. And it is full time. Convincing. Routine. We'll tell them they're all fantastic. We'll all move on. That was the only goal in the Madrid game. They did beat Almera 1-0 over two legs. So hopefully they're going to be that poor when they play us. And we can get ourselves a nice little bit of silverware in Season 1. We are now away against that Letter Bilbao. Who are currently in 13th position. If we win the game, we're top. If we lose the game, we're top. Obviously we want to win. Um, if Atletico do manage to get a win, though, it could drag them within within touching distance of uh, of European positions. So it's quite an important one for them. We're going to be going with Tostegan in goal, Mingueza, Arajo, Pique and Alba, Sergio playing in the holding mid behind Gavi and Roberto. Mostly because Pedri's playing okay, he's just not playing as well as the other midfielders. So I thought I'd give Gavi a game. Um, he is incredibly young and incredibly good. And I am incredibly in the wrong way. I'll have to move that back shortly. Um, and then at front, we have also Demir, young and good. Fatty out on the left, young and good. And then Memphis up top, just good. It's not young anymore, unfortunately. Athletic are lining up with horrific form, actually. And a 4 2 3 1. And we have a uh, better form from. Uh, no, it's not. It's actually the same form. We pushed a win off and, and we pop to win on so still two draws two wins and a loss Berenger puts in the cross towards Williams at the back post and then Sanse puts it in I'm not happy about that <laughs> I thought it was going to get disallowed it uh it hadn't been and unfortunately we're going to watch it again it's a good cross he wasn't picked up at the back post and then your man was stood in between three or four of our players and he wasn't picked up either so that's infuriating we're nearly up to 40 minutes. We haven't had any further highlights, apart from this one. Uh, Gavi puts the ball to the back post and it's headed out by Nunes. Uh, Demi is the quickest to respond and gets back onto the ball. Alba heads forward, puts it out to his uh, fellow fullback. Uh, Gavi once more on the ball, gets it to Demi. Poor pass from Demi, gets intercepted and Alba's back again. Right, so PK and Araggio gets it to Gavi once more. And I don't know if that counts as a successful pass, I assume it does. Alba's got it out on the left-hand side, puts it to Fatih, who's in acres of space, and manages to get it in the back corner. It's 1-1 just before half-time. Can we sneak in another one before we go in? Roberto, decent pass out here to Alba. He makes the run. Fatih's peeled off, and now he's in acres of space. He has no one near him, and then does well as well to get the, uh, get the ball in the net. Doesn't look like we're going to be able to uh, get our equaliser before half-time mainly because the whistle's just been blown. Um, we're having the better of the game now. 
they got a early-ish goal, which kind of put us back on our feet. But uh, since then, it's definitely been as to win. And we just need to make sure we actually do so. As a throw-in on the left-hand side, or is it their right-hand side? I can't, I'm not sure. Yeah, their left-hand side. <laughs> Williams, Munyane, Garcia. Oh, and it's just wide. Memphis with a free kick. Puts it towards the near post, and Simon makes a decent save as well. Just past the uh, hour mark. We'll look at substitutions now. Uh, we haven't really seen much from Depay at all, so we'll bring Aguero on. Um, likewise, we haven't really seen much from Demia. We'll give Pedri, sorry, we'll give Hulk his position. Um, Busquets isn't playing particularly well. Also, which isn't helpful, uh, as he picked up the second booking in the semi-final, he's actually going to miss the final of the cup, which I could really have done with him being there, to be honest. So we're going to have to drop uh, De Jong and then play maybe Pedri and Busquets? No, not Busquets. Pedri and Roberto. He's just scored. i have completely ignoring him scoring a goal to try and remember what his name was. Splendid work from me, that was. Berenger's dad. I just don't even know what that was. Fatty does well. Gets it back to Hulk. Back to Fatty once more. Sees the opening. Bang. Bottom corner. Easy goal. We are now edging towards the last 10 minutes. I think what I'm going to do is just drop to balance, make sure that we try and see this game out, so I'll slow the tempo down a little bit more, whack some time wasting on. Uh, transitionally, we'll just slow it all down, smash it over to the uh, striker. We'll drop these lines slightly as well. Uh, we won't prevent distribution, and we'll play. Hopefully that'll be just enough to get... Um, okay, I was going to say the game to end without highlights, but a highlight's happening. Aguero puts it to Gavi. Brilliant ball through to Fate. He has got a man behind him. Is he going to use him? He has. Alba. To Sergio on the edge. Oh, and it's just over the bar. Less than five minutes remaining now. Surely? Full time? Beautiful. That is. Two wins. We're almost back on track here. Almost. The one thing I have noticed this year is the uh, new youth candidates layout. Um, I've kind of haven't remembered to show you. Because it's absolutely horrific. <laughs> Look at the state of that. There is abs. There's no one. There just isn't anything. Our best is an E for goalkeepers. What is that? To be fair, I mean this this little synopsis here. This is a very poor crop of players. Yeah, pretty much. It's horrific. As we know, we will be back for the game against Chelsea in the next episode. What I'm thinking of doing is starting the episode with it, because if they beat us and they knock us out, then I've got the game against Betis to try and cheer myself up with. That's my that's my reasoning. If you have enjoyed today's episode, then there's a bit more content on screen for you here. If you just click on one of them, it'll take you to something else that I've made, which is fantastic. And thank you for your time. <laughs>